now and say, let's get away from him entirely to start throwing the football. But I don't think you ever entirely abandon the run. It helps set a tone for the game for you, keeps your offensive linemen feeling good about themselves, and it actually tamps down a defense's pressure because if you just throw it all the time, it's going to tee off with the pass rush. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. Second and four at the 36. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ravens 10. Four yards remain for second down. Now this time he'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Brown. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown. His second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Ravens have retaken the lead. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Makes the score, Ravens 17, Titans 14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in it. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And he will score. Touchdown, Titans. Adam Humphreys. Adam Humphreys. 75 yards. And the Titans have once again taken the lead. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Makes the score Titans 21, Ravens 17. Goskowski now after the touchdown. He'll send this one away. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Third and two. Third and two, here's Jackson. And he's got Snead. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Jackson to Snead that time. First down, Baltimore. Pass from Jackson, complete to Ingram. Not much there, only a yard. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes it second and nine. At the 40-yard line. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Brown. Jackson. That catch good for five. It's third down. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Oh, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Titans, they've got the football back, and they've got it in great field position. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Patrick Queen just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Flush to his right. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. 
This is third and long. defense try to use the clock to their advantage they'll take the time out here with 208 left and then they'll have another stop coming up at the two minute warning now left side on the swing pass Tannehill's pass fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game so the Titans in possession of the football here as we get you reset and let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Titans are going to add on to their lead. The kick is good. Well, it would be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. The Ravens take over first and ten at their own 21-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for us. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Five yards, now it's third and five. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get it out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And he's gonna have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 34 yard line. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. So look at this. They'll go for a field goal now to get within a score. This to get it back to a one-score game. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. Makes the score. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So we're back to a one-score game, and now you figure we'll likely see an onside kick. Yeah, they've only got the one timeout remaining, so I think they've got to take a chance of getting the ball back. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> How happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. So this one, a Tennessee Titan victory. 
And they were buoyed, Charles, by 